Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you the classical time series forecasting model, the SARIMA, which is the ARIMA model, but with a seasonal component. The script that we will build will be available in the description of this video for you to keep and use for your future reference. In the description you will also find a link to my secret discount portal where you have discounts for all of my courses on Udemy and also to subscribe to Zero to Mastery, where I also have online courses. So please have a look at them and otherwise, let's kick it off. This is a three part kind of video. We have the libraries, we have the data, and then we have the modeling. Starting with the libraries and super quickly, we need to install a specific library, which is PMD Arima, PMD Arima. Here we go. Let me do a control enter. It takes 12 seconds to run, as we can see here by the bottom. Let me close this output and then we import. So import pandas SPD. And here you go. Control enter. And I also need so from PMD Arima, which is the library that we just imported. We import autoRima, which is the function that we we'll use in order to compute the Serima model. Control Enter, and let me start a new code cell, but actually not here, because now we move on uh, to the data. The data set that we we'll use is actually super cool because it's about Udemy. So pandas.read underscore CSV, CSV open parenthesis, and I've stored the data sets in the cloud so that we can very easily use it. So HTTPS, and then colon, two slashes, bit.ly, and then slash Udemy data frame. And let's do control enter. And here you go. So we see here the output, we see here the date. So Udemy, Easter, and Christmas. And what we need to do is that we need to include the date in the index. So index call equals to date. And we can do control enter. And we can do one uh, next step, which is to parse date, because the most common uh, date format is not this one that we see here. And thus we just do equals to true. And this could be it, but there's one extra thing that we can add, which is okay, just in case that there's an issue, we also state the frequency of the data. So as frac, and then with a capital D, let me do control enter. And here we go. Let me store everything inside data frame. So data frame equals to this. And then here, I just do data frame dot head. So the F dot head, control enter. And we can continue like all modeling, uh, we split into training and test set. And then so for the training, so training equals to data frame dot I lock. And then let's say that we leave 31 days for the test set. So up until minus 31, comma, and then colon. And then the test, so test equals to data frame dot alloc, and then starting from minus 31, colon, comma, and then we want all of the regressors for now. With this done, so let me do control enter, and we can now build the model. So, Serima model as a comment. And one thing to have in mind is that the Serima model does not allow exogenous regressors. So we can just use uh, our time series, which is the Udemy one. So we go and we say y equals to training dot Udemy. This is the first parameter we need to include and then m. m equals to seven. This is the seasonal component. With daily data, you always pick seven because that is the one that will bring you the best results. 
Let me do control enter. This will need to run for at least a few seconds. And then I can, you know, talk a bit about Rima. So this auto Rima function will find the best parameters for the Serima model. For those who don't know, Serima has six optimization factors, and we need to find the optimal combination. Now, what defines the optimal combination is a criterion called the AIC, which is the Akai Keys Information Criterion. And this AIC finds the best model based on two things. So there's goodness of fit. So how well are we minimizing the residuals? How well is the model fitting to the data? So this is point one. And then point two is the complexity. So the more simple the model is, the better. So there's these two things, simplicity of the model and then the goodness of fit. Another thing that I would like to add is this on the seasonal component, so m equals to 7. And what you need to know is that Sarima does not allow uh, complex seasonalities. Now, what are complex uh, seasonalities? With daily data, we may have more than one seasonality. You know, sure, there is a seasonality throughout the week, but what about the seasonality throughout the month, uh, throughout the year? Sarima does not allow this. We can only specify one. We always specify seven because this is the where the cycles occur the most frequently and thus we can at least from a seasonal perspective better assess it if you were to look for instance on more yearly seasonality then it wouldn't result as well because it would not take in consideration at all the weekly seasonality so I've been talking for almost two minutes. I'll pause here until this is done and I'll come back for us to finish this tutorial. Alrighty, it's done. It took around seven minutes. So you can see it's somewhat long optimization. And now let's wrap up. So we need to do uh, predictions. And then what we'll do is that we'll look at it visually. So visualization. Let's start with the predictions here. So the way to do it is pandas series, and then we use the model to predict. And then here, I just need to know how many days. And one simple way is to do length of the test. So this is one super simple way. Let me do control enter. And here we go. So we see here the predictions. And then, so let me start here. So predictions equals to this. And what we also need is some kind of index. So predictions.index. And we can borrow it from the test. So test.index. Predictions. And let's look at the first five. Control Enter. And here you go. So we now see that it has a date. And this helps with the visualization. So training and then Udemy. So we look at our time series. We do dot plot a figure size. So fig size and then equals to let's start with 12 and 8. And then legend equals to true. And Let's do then test Udemy, or better yet, let me copy paste this, control C and control V. Here, I specify test, and here I just need to include the legend. Let me do control enter to see if it works. And here you go. Let's add here the predictions. Predictions dot plot legend equals to true control enter and here you go you can see them in green it doesn't have a name but one thing that we can also do because yeah this is not something you can easily visualize is that you add so from 2020 because our data is from 2016 to the end of 2020 and we can just look at the last year so 2020 and then a colon here, control enter. And here we go. You would see here how our Serima model is actually behaving. So apparently 
it's a bit over forecasting. This is what we can see, at least from these Udemy Wikipedia page visits. And as a result, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, the link is in the description for this script, and also you'll find a link for the secret discount portal. Until the next video, have fun.